Alright, so it's been a year since I did my DVD and Blu-ray collection and it has changed a lot. I have gotten so many more, I've gotten rid of a few, so it's time instead of ripping off Chris Stuckman, we're ripping off John Flickster. I got all of them on the floor here. You can't see them, but it's quite a lot. There's like, I don't know, several piles. So, let's try and get this all done. One take, I'll be doing funny things. I'm going to try and do funny things. I'm not as good as the flick pick, but let's try it. So, first up, uh, I got a few here. Uh, these are ones I plan on getting rid of for one reason or another, but I'll just show you. Alright, first up, uh, Wanted. You know, I'm getting rid of that. Tremors the series, good series, but not gonna watch it. Not as much as the, I don't like it as much as the movies. Uh, there will be blood. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. Uh, great movie. Never gonna watch it again. Stargate. Uh, good, I haven't watched the series, it's, but uh, I'm never gonna watch it again. Balto and Balto 2, uh, since the second one is so awful, I already have the uh, first one. I just got this to review the second one, and now that I've reviewed it, I don't need it anymore. And uh, finally, Gattaca. Good film, uh, but I don't know. Its biggest strength is also its biggest weakness. It's very original, but it's also kind of slow and boring. But uh, it is good, but I'm probably never going to watch it again. So, uh, I guess we'll do this first. This is where I keep mostly projects, but I do have some other things in here that just to free space on the shelf. Like, uh, there's the original Balto. Uh, this came with uh, several Cartoon Network shows. We got the first half of the season of Kurt's, of the first season of Kurt's Cowardly Dog. Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, some Ed and Eddie episodes. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got, guys? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, we got Home Alone 1 and 2. And uh, you can disagree with me all you want. I personally think the uh, second one is better. Uh, first one's still good. It's a very good classic family movie. But uh, I don't know, just something about the second one. And uh, this one has a lot more. Let's open it up. We got the story of Star Wars, which has uh, 3PO and R2-D2 taking you through like episodes 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6 that came with episode 3. These are cool. These are little uh, things that came in cereal boxes. Literally. They have epis They were part of like the Scooby-Doo mystery thing. I have disc 1 and 4 that has... A Johnny Bravo episode and an Ed and A episode. You were basically supposed to solve the mystery. As long as you watch the episode, the mystery is easy as all hell. Uh, the Johnny Bravo. I actually have both of these on those DVDs. The uh, episodes that came come on these DVDs on the uh, two DVDs for uh, that I showed you a few min a few seconds ago. Uh, the Johnny Bravo episode that was a crossover with Scooby Doo and. If it smells like an ad, which is actually probably the worst episode of Ed and Nitty, and I might review it on Kids Are Smarter Than This. But it has other episodes, like it has a Powerpuff Girls episode, Dexter's Lab. Ugh. Wish I had the other ones. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, uh, my favorite Scooby-Doo animated film, like that. That's actually kind of scary. Indiana Jones bonus material, I'll show you why I put this in here when we get to Indiana Jones later. Lion King 2. Uh, that's just a project I did. Uh, clock Stoppers. Please tell me if you remember Clock Stoppers. I'll review it on Nordy's Forgotten Flicks. It's not a phenomenal film, but I have such nostalgia for it. I watched it like three times when I first saw it. Uh, another nostalgic film, Big Fat Liar. Uh, and another one I'll put on Nordy's Forgotten Flicks. I got some projects. Secret in Them. Pretty good film, Dante's Peak, really underrated disaster movie, and uh, The Spider Wick Chronicles, which I think is a very good fantasy movie. Alright, 
Now we get to the actual DVDs themselves, so we'll start with this one. Ugh. Alright, first up we got Breakfast Club, a great 80s movie. Uh, I'm gonna try and quote some stuff to make this funny, but it's it's good. <laughs> Bueller Bueller edition of Ferris Bueller Stay Off. <laughs> I want to go to Chicago just to reenact that movie. Pretty in Pink. I really liked this one. I don't know. I didn't expect much from it. I uh, thought it was going to be like a chick flick, but uh, no, I really liked it. Uh, same with this one. Easy A uh, with Emma Stone. Ugh, you know what? That glare is going to get annoying. Oh. Okay, after that predicament, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but, uh, if you hear the door going, it's because the dog wants to get in, but he doesn't know I'm trying to make a video. Uh, anyway, Easy A, great film. Why is there always a glare? Fuck it. You guys can see it. Uh, The Blair Witch Project, a uh, really good found footage movie. Cloverfield, my, one of my favorite films of all time. This is actually the Blu-ray. <laughs> Amazon just screwed me over on a case. I could never find this damn thing on Blu-ray. I ordered on Amazon, didn't get a case, and now I can find it everywhere. Walmart, FYE. Everywhere. I can just find it everywhere on Blu-ray. But uh, Yeah, great film. I love it. Very underrated quarantine. Um... Uh, I think this is extremely good, uh, just as good as Wreck. Uh, I do want to get Wreck in Wreck 2, not Wreck 3. I didn't care much for Wreck 3. Okay. Uh, Chronicle. Great film. Uh, get a little dusty there. Uh, I hear they're coming out with a sequel sometime. I'm not sure when. Ah, here's one. VHS 2. Uh, I... Uh, this is actually better than the first damn dog, but, uh, yeah. Oh, I actually got the, uh, I'm not gonna go get it, but I actually have the, uh, edition that came with an actual VHS copy, so, if they, uh, make a third one, which I think they are, uh, do that again, please, I will buy it. But, uh, yeah, this movie is in every way better than the first, and I loved the first one, but, uh, holy shit. Um, all four paranormal activities, uh, my favorite goes two, three, one, and four. I haven't actually seen the trailer for the Mark one, because I don't like watching trailers, even though the ones for, like, the last two didn't give you jack shit. Pretty much just comprised of bullshit footage that they just made up for the trailer. Prometheus. Okay, you can say it's flawed, and you're technically right. Uh, I think most of its problem is the characters. The plot and visuals are are, are very good. <sighs> Damn dog, but uh, questions will be answered. No, it's just setting up for a sequel, but uh, still a very very good film, in my opinion. If you don't like it, fine. Uh, Alien. Didn't even realize that. But uh, yes, uh, this is. Probably my favorite in the uh, Alien series. I haven't seen Alien 3 or Alien Resurrection. Uh, <laughs> not sure if I want to yet, but uh, a lot of people say Aliens, and Aliens is great. Uh, I do need to get that on Blu ray. I have this thing that has the first Alien and the Abyss. Uh, I don't think the Abyss is available on Blu ray, but uh, I'll just keep that and get rid of these two. And I eventually do get Aliens, but, uh, Aliens, great film, but, uh, there's just something about the simple, low-budget charm of the first movie. I don't know. It just really gets to me. Uh, that leads into, like, the James Cameron section. We got Titanic. Uh, I do like it. Parts of it. I, I do like, basically, whenever it focuses on the actual Titanic and not the love story. Um... I don't know. It's alright. 
comes on two discs. I don't plan on really getting that on Blu-ray. Like I do for this, Avatar. Don't know why I don't have this on Blu-ray yet. It's still like 25 bucks, like full price for this. But uh, I do like this movie. I don't think it's a masterpiece, but I don't think it's like unwatchable or anything. Well, I don't think anyone thinks it's unwatchable, but I don't think it's bad. I do think it's a bit cliche, but I don't think it's the worst film. <laughs> I don't think it's the most overrated movie of all time there. I actually think it's better than the film that it lost to for Best Picture. Uh, first Terminator. I uh, just got this on Blu-ray a little while ago. I haven't watched it. I think it has about the same special features, but a uh, uh, great film. Only to be outdone by Terminator 2. Um, I should have said I'll be back, but uh, I gotta start quoting some shit and stuff. But uh, I don't know if this is... I've heard there's like a really bad edition of this Blu-ray, but I don't know if this is the one. It's like it doesn't have any more bonus features than my DVD, but uh, I don't care. I don't own three, but uh, I did like Salvation. It's not a masterpiece. It definitely has its flaws, but, you know, it has a lot of good things. Uh, Except for Chocolate. I can't even do it. I guess that really is an art form. Alright, that's the first pile done, so let's try this pile. We've got the original Lord of the Rings trilogy. I haven't seen... Decimation of Smog. Um, I I liked the first Hobbit movie, An Unexpected Journey, but uh, I think I'll just wait until uh, all three of the Hobbit movies are released, unless like Decimation of Smog and here and that, and then are like really bad. But uh, I did like the first one enough to get it if the other two are good. But uh, I'll just wait until all three of them are done to get like this big box set or something. But uh, I need to rewatch these. Uh, I said this last year. I haven't rewatched them. Uh, I think my favorite would go Fellowship, then Return of the King, then Two Towers. But like I said, I need to rewatch them. One ring to rule them all. One ring to. I forget. Uh, fine. We got Pirates of the Caribbean, all four of them. Of course, the first one is my favorite. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, how to Train Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon, a uh, great film about dragons. Uh, Harper's Island, this is a very underrated miniseries that ran in like 09, and it's a murder mystery, so it doesn't have like amazing rewatch value, but uh, I really like this. Uh, one by one. Uh, the original four Batmans. Um, I'm Batman. Hey Freeze, I'm Batman. Ha, uh, yes, uh, Batman is really good. It's actually my top ten favorite comic book movies, if you saw that. Batman Returns, I like. Uh, a little weird, but, uh, Batman Forever is meh. And, of course, Batman. Robin is awful. Awful, awful. Really awful. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, Batman Begins, uh, my least favorite of Nolan's trilogy. It is good. I like it. I do. But, uh, I just don't... I think it has some flaws in it. Uh, I do want to get it on Blu-ray. It has nothing in terms of bonus features. Dark Knight, the steelbook. The only DVD steelbook I own. I have a Blu-ray that I will get to later, but, uh, great movie. It is. Uh, a little overrated, but, uh, Still good. And uh, The Dark Knight Rises, my personal favorite. It has its flaws, no more or less than the other two. Uh, but Nolan has still never topped Memento. This is like a really s shitty Blu-ray that I kind of want to get a new one on. Insomnia, very underrated. The Prestige, a great movie that has a really bullshit ending. If you want to see a good version of like a really great version of that. Uh, I have one that I will show you later. Inception, great film. 